Hundreds of school children ride the bus every day in Prince George. Parents trust their kids will make it to and from school safely, but diversified transportation says some drivers are making that a difficult task. While the law dictates vehicles stop in both directions when a school bus has its flashing red lights on, the bus company has found many drivers are not obeying the law. The cost could be much higher than a ticket. Yeah, the car is coming up behind us and they're going to go by. Even though we have every light on the bus on, they're going by us. It's happening more and more. Drivers failing to stop when a school bus's red lights are flashing. We get uh, calls from our drivers fairly often. So right now we're probably talking about twice, three times per week. Diversified Transportation is pulling out all the stops to make sure the 4,500 kids they drive every day get to and from school safely. The purpose of those red lights are for kids to, to get off at their stops and some of them might be crossing the street right away. And we're talking about kids that range from kindergarten to grade 12. So not, not, not all of them are, are educated on road safety. The bus company says it sees more drivers racing past buses in the St. Lawrence area near Southridge Elementary than any other part of the city. But parents see it in many neighborhoods. I've heard far too many um, stories about close calls. I've witnessed some close calls. It's getting dangerous out there and I'd like to see something done before there's a serious accident. Bus drivers try to take down license plate numbers if they see a car fail to yield and then notify the police. If uh, you fail to come to a stop, uh, you can be charged under the Motor Vehicle Act for disobeying the school bus signals and that carries the points and a fine. It could cost a child his or her life. That's why drivers are being asked to obey the rules of the road. Diversified has an enviable safety record. I don't think there's anything more that the school district or the busing company can do to make it safer. Right now we need to get the message out to the drivers, to the general public, the motorists that are driving around these school buses, what they should be doing. Diversified says many drivers aren't aware of the law and says all it takes is a little education to make sure kids stay safe in and out of school zones. Kelly Linehan, CKPG News.